Hey there Cryptonauts, I know we're all bombarded with videos daily and it's tempting to just scroll past this one but hold on a sec, this could be the game changer between a decent $100,000 year end and a stellar $1 million year end. Are you intrigued? Let me break it down for you. So we're all into the cryptocurrency market hustle right? Well, buckle up because we've got some exclusive insights just for you. In this video, we're diving into the top 3 hot, affordable altcoins of 2024, and there's a sleeper crypto catalyst flying under the radar. Trust me, nobody is talking about it. Stick around and let's unravel the mysteries together. Let's kick things off with a deep dive into Injective vs Solano. Now, we're not just throwing numbers at you, we're dissecting the greater crypto ecosystem. Recently, 4.33% of injective tokens went through an unlock. This triggered some uncertainty in the market, but hey, it's not all bad news. There is a significant upgrade. Injective launches a gas compression feature, offering transaction fees lower than even Solana. Now that is a game changer. But wait, what's the deal with this token unlock? Is that a cause for concern? Well, in the short term, there might be some selling action, especially with the overall market trends. However, here's a twist. This unlock is the last one ever. The 4.33% is comprised of team and advisor tokens, and guess what? The team already had 16% unlocked, so there's no need to lose sleep over that. As for advisor tokens, it's a mere fraction of the total value. Let's talk numbers. The daily trading volume of Injective is over 200 million and even if all advisor tokens get dumped, it's like a nothing burger in the grand scheme of things. The reason for this is because markets are forward looking, my friend. This final unlock is seen as a catalyst, signaling a bullish outlook. Now, brace yourself for some exciting developments. With Injective 2.0, the full token unlock has happened, making Injective fully deflationary. Currently, only 60% of the circulating supply is staked. That's 48.8 million tokens out of 80%. And here's the kicker. The burn mechanism is in full swing, making Injective a scarce resource. As more dApps go live, weekly burns are expected to skyrocket. Yet there might be a market sell-off, and hey, we aren't financial advisors, but having a plan tailored to your needs is key. The burn mechanism, deflationary features, and real-world use cases make Injective a standout player in my book. So, while keeping an eye on potential market dips, we're still bullish on Injective this cycle. Keep those profit locks handy, especially with altcoins, but with all the positive indicators, Injective is definitely one to keep on your radar. Now let's dive deeper into the fascinating world of Ethereum, and why we're still big fans. Here's the way we see it. Ethereum's supply decreases every year, setting it apart from the increasing supply of Bitcoin. While Bitcoin is undoubtedly one of the scarcest and hardest assets globally, Ethereum takes a different approach. It's deflationary. It's like Ethereum is having an infinite halving, and I don't think the market has fully priced this in yet. Now let's talk about the evolution of user-friendly products in the cryptocurrency space. It's truly remarkable how far we've come. Consider this. Possibly the most popular Ethereum wallet and perhaps one of the most used wallets in the entire industry now allows users to stake Ethereum directly within the wallet. This means Ethereum users can stake a whole validator, requiring 32 Ethereum directly from MetaMask. MetaMask's new offering eliminates the need for pulling or complex hardware to run an Ethereum validator node. However, it does come with a 10% cut which, let's be honest, is quite substantial. But hey. It isn't the worst cut we've seen and the ease of staking in the most popular wallet is a game changer. Now this move by MetaMask, making staking so seamless and accessible, is undeniably bullish for the industry. It opens up opportunities for people to get involved in ways that were much more complicated in the last cycle and, let's face it, simplicity is key, especially for newcomers entering the crypto space. But, as with any exciting development, there are concerns floating around about Ethereum's future. Some analysts, like those at JP Morgan, are expressing skepticism about the chances of a spot Ethereum ETF approval in May, putting it below the 50% mark. Now, is this just JP Morgan being JP Morgan or is there some merit to their bearish outlook? 
It's a question worth pondering. Interestingly, we can't help but draw parallels with the history of the Bitcoin ETF. I mean, it did face multiple rejections before finally gaining approval. Now, with Ethereum potentially on a similar path, it wouldn't surprise me if there are hurdles to overcome, especially with Gary Gensler in the mix. Let's delve into the Solana buzz, a topic that's been on many minds lately and we've been getting a lot of questions about it. Solana is gearing up for a significant upgrade called Fire Dancer this year, promising a substantial improvement in its technology. Now, what caught my attention is a noteworthy insight from the Ethereum ecosystem's chain's data, revealing that popular Ethereum Layer 2 solutions are processing fewer transactions per second compared to both Ethereum and Solana. This position Solana is the most used chain, surpassing even Ethereum in terms of transactions. But, and it's an important but, Ethereum has its own trump card. A last big upgrade set for this year, likely to lure in more users to the Ethereum ecosystem and its layer 2 solutions. While this could potentially shift the metrics, we can't overlook what Solana has already built. A robust community and a thriving ecosystem. Now let's talk about the current dip in the Solana price. We did give you a heads up about it. However, here are three compelling reasons why the Solana price could bounce back and approach $200 per coin by March. First on the list is the real buzz around a potential Solana ETF. The recent approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs in January has ignited hopes across the industry that other cryptocurrencies, including Solana, might follow suit. Franklin Templeton, a colossal asset management firm with a trillion dollar portfolio, is spearheading the charge for a Solana ETF. While approval is uncertain, the mere possibility has the Solana ETF buzz resonating loudly in the crypto community. Next up, we've got the impact of Fed rate cuts. Historically, rate cuts have been bullish for the entire industry. Solana, being integrated into Circle's USDC stablecoin and forming partnerships with giants like Shopify, stands to benefit significantly from such market conditions. And let's not forget the excitement within the Solana community. Solana is making waves by releasing a new phone, and the pre-orders have already surpassed expectations. In fact, the pre-orders alone have outperformed Saga's first-year sales, amassing over 25,000 orders immediately after the announcement. The buzz around this phone is not just about the hardware. The first version saw users receiving airdropped Solana ecosystems like Bonk, leading to some impressive profits. It's no wonder the community is buzzing with anticipation for the new release. So, the market is currently taking us on a bit of a roller coaster, and it might feel like we're in a dip and consolidation phase. But fear not, my friends, because this is all part of the crypto journey. I mean, Bitcoin was on a wild ride for over a year, smashing records for 13 consecutive weeks without any significant dips, especially with the anticipation building up around the ETF. Now, if we see a dip like this, it's just par for the course, right? Now let's talk about the psychological aspect of it all. It's absolutely normal to have those is everything okay moments along the way. I mean, we're human, right? But trust me, it's part of the game. Now, let me drop a bomb of bullishness that I feel like not many folks are talking about. Coinbase and its lawsuit with the SEC. This is a game changer, my friends. If Coinbase manages to win this legal battle, it's like unleashing a wave of bullishness for tokens and crypto companies in the good old US of A. And guess what? Bloomberg's legal research wizard and analyst extraordinaire Elliot Stein is dropping some serious optimism bombs. He's giving Coinbase a whopping 70% chance of a full dismissal in the SEC lawsuit. Yeah, you heard it right. A full dismissal. Now, why is this such a big deal? While it's not just coming from any expert, it's coming from Bloomberg's senior litigation guru, Elliot Stein. According to him, he initially thought Coinbase might successfully object to certain SEC claims, but he was a bit skeptical about those related to staking rewards and overall operational structure. However, after a mere five hours in the courtroom, his confidence did a complete 180. He went in thinking Coinbase would win on certain claims, but he left the hearing believing they could clinch a full dismissal. Now that is a plot twist, isn't it? If you're riding the crypto wave and looking to make some gains, make sure to stay tuned. We drop a video on YouTube almost every single day, keeping you in the loop. 
Let's make 2024 an epic year for all of you crypto holders out there. Cheers to the crypto journey, crypto nuts, and have a good one.